Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Moving Head Tech. I'm going to answer some of your questions you had on the light show I did yesterday with the four inno pocket spies. I use things like pan tilt inversions and slave one and slave two on some of the fixtures. I'm going to explain why today and how you do it and what the benefits are. Today we're going to be working with two inno pocket spots. We need two power cables and a DMX cable. Now the first thing we're going to do is hook up our DMX cables. You really can't screw it up. A DMX cable has a male and a female end like this. This is the male end right here and that is your DMX out. We're going to go out of the master so we're going to plug this one in here to our master. We're going to take the other end of our DMX cable and plug it in the only place we can on our slave which is DMX in right here. And when you've got those all plugged in, take power cables on both of your fixtures and plug your fixtures in. I'd like to set this fixture to our master, so what I'm going to do is press and hold the menu button until the fixture unlocks. And now I believe it's unlocked. We can flip through the up and down arrows until we see S, L, and D. Then we press enter. SL1, that's not what we want. We go up one. SL2, not what we want. Up one more. It's supposed to be master. I know it says NAST, but it's supposed to be master. Press and hold the enter button, and it saves that fixture to master. I would like to set this slave to slave one. It's on slave two right now. Same thing. Press and hold the menu button until the fixture unlocks. Once it unlocks, you can use the up arrows. So you see SLND, press the menu button, SL1, go down one, I'm sorry, SL2, go down one to SL1, press and hold the menu button to save. Now we have a pair of moving heads in the most basic master slave configuration. This is our master, this is our slave, and it's sound active. If I tap on the table, you see they both do the exact same thing. I'll put some music on. Okay, now, if we wanted to do something a little different, we can start messing with the pan tilt inversions. What we're going to do is go on to our slave unit to make those changes. So once again, we're going to press and hold the menu button until the screen unlocks. There we go, we're unlocked now. And we're going to use the up and down arrows to find PLNT. This is actually the, the pan inversion. I'm going to press enter, and it's going to say no. If I go up one, yes. Press and hold the enter button, and it saves that. Now we have a pan inversion. Let's see what that does for our fixtures. Now you may notice our fixtures almost seem like they're backwards, and they are. This master is now backwards from the slave in a way this is the pan inversion and it's a real cool thing to do if you've got several of these in a row maybe mounted from the ceiling and you want lights to be all over the place but for a mobile DJ I think what we want is more of a mirror image that's what I like the best so the way we achieve that is in addition to the pan inversion we do a tilt inversion here's how it's done back into the menu we go by pressing menu holding it down until everything unlocks. There we go. Now we're going to use our up arrows. That's pan inversion. Here's the tilt inversion. Press enter. See it says no. Go up one. Yes. Press and hold enter. And it's saved. That's the look I like myself. I think this looks best for the mobile DJs. Maybe one on each side of the DJ booth, one on each totem, one on each side of the table, whatever. And that's just my personal preference. But that's how you achieve the mirrored image. It's with both a pan and tilt inversion on your slave unit.
Now on to Slave 1 and Slave 2. These can be kind of confusing because it says in the manual it gives the fixture contrasting movement. And I think a lot of people feel like that's going to mean it's going to be a mirrored image like this. Not true. That's a pan tilt inversion. What it actually does is contrast a lot of things. Sometimes it's movement. Sometimes it's color. Sometimes it's not. So if we were to flip this fixture onto Slave 2, you will see once in a while it'll be contrasting, once in a while it won't be. Let's give it a try. Back into the menu again. Press and hold the menu button until the screen unlocks. I believe we're unlocked. We use our up and down arrows until we see SLND. Press enter. See it says Slave 1. Go up one. Slave 2 or SL2. Press and hold the enter button. And it's saved. Now let's go ahead and put some music on and see how our fixtures act. SL2 is a great mode to use if you're using like four fixtures in a row, for instance. The two in the middle were sent to SL2. The one on the end was set to SL1, which exactly mirrors the master. So we got some interesting patterns sporadically and colors, and sometimes they all line up and did the same thing. So I hope I answered some of your questions for you. I will monitor these comment sections for questions that you may have in the future. I'm going to do another video hopefully in the next few days on the show modes so you guys know exactly what they mean and what they do and how you can put them to use. So until then, practice and enjoy.